Hello, Pisces. I'm going to look into your situation. So it's whatever the cards want to say. Um, you know, leave it if it doesn't resonate. It's either your story or it isn't. There are different variations of the story for this energy group. Um, you know, it could be about love, money. It's just whatever wants to come through here. We'll see what happens. Could be a new person, an old person. You never know. So we have sex and seduction. We have overthinking, overanalyzing, self-sabotaging, reconciliation. Happiness, warmth, light. Kind of feeling like someone that wanted to keep things in the shallow end with you is now coming forward and communicating with their feelings. This might have started out as like a friends with benefits, like sexual connection or like just friends, or it might have started out like they were kind of like a little bit distant from you, like they weren't fully emotionally available with you, but you feel like something shifted recently. It's almost, I just get the energy of like someone that, I feel like they weren't expecting you, like they weren't expecting this connection, they weren't expecting to feel this way about you, because I'm just getting the sense of someone that's like kind of shocked, like... They have these feelings that they don't know what to do with. So they had to take some time to kind of pause and reflect on that energy and, and think about it, you know, like hanged man energy kind of, and really um, do some soul searching and digging and, and decide if, if love fits into their life. You know, some of them might have been planning, oh, sorry, some of them might have been planning on moving to a new location or, you know, they could even be with somebody else right now. They're... Um, there might just be some complications there is what I'm getting for this energy group for this particular story. It's like they were focused on work or finances or another person or meeting their goals. And I just feel like they caught feelings for you and, and they weren't expecting to catch feelings. It's like they, they, it's someone that wanted to keep it in the shallow end. So for some of you, it's like you guys were messing around, like you were sexual and then they started, you know, having stronger feelings for you and they didn't know what to do with that. For others, it might not have necessarily been sexual. It might have just been like you guys were talking or hanging out, but it's like you sense their hesitation. You sense like they weren't wanting to take things to the next level. Some of them had another person and they didn't tell you about it because it's like maybe they were already kind of moving away from that person. Um, and they just didn't know what to do. But it's almost like, yeah, they just, they had these feelings for you and they kind of overthought it for a while. They overanalyzed, they self-sabotaged. It's like they didn't really, it's like they didn't really know what to do with that energy, you know? It's like they had to take a step back and think, like, can I fit a relationship into my life? Like, can this work? Like, it's, it's like you kind of just threw them off course. Like, they weren't, they just weren't expecting that. Reconciliation, happiness, warmth, light. Yeah, some of them had to go inward and make a decision. And I feel like a lot of them are deciding that they do want to reconcile with you, that they, they do feel happy with you. They do feel like there's something here that's that's uh, worth giving it a shot, you know? Yeah, they want to take it slow and get to know you. Some of them, they want to give it a shot, but a lot of them are, like, not wanting to rush into things. I just feel like this person, like, like I said, like, they just weren't expecting this. So I think that there's some things that they want to clear up with you. I'm getting that they're wanting to have like a heart to heart conversation with you for some, because for some of them, like maybe they're going off to the military, like they're going to be gone for months or they were planning on moving to a new state or they have another person that they're in the process of like divorcing or leaving. Um, or it's like some kind of major life change is what they were focusing on is what I'm getting. And so I feel like they might want to have a conversation with you, just like an open, healthy conversation. Like, like, hey, would you actually be willing to wait for me if I'm going to be gone for the next six months? Um, you know, I want to move to this state. Like, what are your feelings on that? Like, do you, are you willing to move to that state with me? I mean, if, if it went there, like some of you are still early on, so they might not be ready to say too much too soon. But, you know, they're kind of thinking like, well, would he or she be willing to move to this state with me? Uh, what if I have to, some of them are, are getting a job offer in another location and they're wondering if you're actually, if you'd be willing to do a long distance relationship or if you'd be willing to move with them. So they want to figure that out. Some of them, like they want kids and you don't want kids or vice versa. So they want to have that conversation. 
because I'm just getting that they do have feelings like at first they were kind of in denial about it like they tried to keep it in the shallow end just because they didn't see how this relationship with you could fit into their life like they were on like a certain path like they had certain goals and then you came along and kind of surprised them and shocked them and it took them a minute they had to step back and kind of distance themselves from you for a little bit and process their emotions I think that they wanted to be sure that this connection with you was real. They wanted to think about it. They wanted to make sure that their feelings were real. And I feel like even if some time has gone by, they've decided that they do still have feelings with you, even if you guys haven't talked for a while. And, um, you know, the energy I'm getting here is, is, like I said, it just kind of threw them off. But I feel like they have gone inward. They have, you know, thought about it a lot. They've, they've overthought it, actually. Um... They've analyzed it, you know? So I feel like they've thought about it as much as they can. They've really been in their head about it. I don't think that they can... There, there's certain answers that they can only get from you is the energy that I'm getting. Like, there's certain conclusions that they they don't know how to find those answers without you. Like, you know, like I was saying, let's say one of you wants to have kids and the other one doesn't. They want to see if there's a compromise there. Or one of you wants to move out of state and one of you doesn't. They want to see just where you're at with that. If things have changed, if you'd be willing to um, to have a long-distance relationship or move with them. Or just what that would look like. Some of you, maybe you were planning on moving and then you decided not to. But you threw that out there. So now they're wondering, like, what's going on with that? Like... Like, they're just trying to, it, it's just, there's something that needs to be cleared up is the energy that's coming through really strongly. Like, they need answers. They need clarity on something about, regarding you. Like, they're searching for that clarity. And the only way to get that clarity is through you. They need to ask you. They have, like, a question or something that they want to ask you. Or multiple questions that they want to ask you is what I'm feeling. Like, they need to know where you stand on certain things. There could have been, like, personality differences as well, too. Like, religious difference or just certain factors. Just certain, you know, just just, just bumps in the road that they, they want to see if you guys can clear these bumps up together. Um, but I feel like they have made the decision that they do want to reconcile. They do feel happy with you. They do, they do feel close to you. They do feel, like, this angelic kind of light from you. Um, they just, they want to... This person is very stable and logical. This isn't somebody that... This isn't really somebody that dives in is what I'm getting. This is somebody that's more logical. They don't really wear their heart on their sleeve. They kind of, they, um, they like to take things slow. This is somebody that probably wouldn't propose to you for a few years. This isn't like the type of person that would get swept up in, the, in a passionate moment and, you know, propose to you three or four months into the relationship. This is somebody that, like, really likes to slowly build up their connection, you know? Um, so yeah, they had to distance themselves and figure out how this relationship could fit into their life. And they've, they've just, they've realized that, you know, they've embraced their feelings. They made a logical decision that like, you know, they do want you in their life. They do have feelings for you. They do want to pursue it. They're trying to be cautious just because there's certain differences like I was talking about. And they're not sure if you guys can work through these or not. They want to talk to you and find out. They want to have a very open, honest conversation with you. Some of them, like, might be hinting at this with you, or they might be, um, maybe it's been a while that, since you've talked for some of you, so it's like they're trying to figure out how to do this, you know? They they just need answers. It's coming through so strongly. But yeah, expect it to move slowly, though. It's like you're you're more passionate and emotional than them. Than them. So please keep that in mind, too, that maybe this isn't, like, like, decide also if this is what you want. Because me, personally, I probably would not want this person I'm, they seem like a good person, don't get me wrong. I am personally too emotional and passionate and romantic for that. I want someone that's like in that energy with me. I want someone that's going to dive in head first and just give it everything. I like that sappy, romantic movie kind of love. You know, that's, that's my path. That's not really what this person's about. This person's more like, let's go get coffee the first month. Second month, we'll go out to dinner. Third month, we'll... You know what I mean? Like, just very slowly building up. Like, like, almost like someone's like, like overly logical. Like, scien like a scientist type energy. Like a, I don't know if it's like a scientist, but it's like, very like, it's like a controlled energy where they have their life planned out. Like, I'm going to go to this college and this is, I'm going to be married by 35. And then, you know, just like they have everything like planned out. Like, 
you should live together six months into the relationship. You should propose four years into the relationship. It's like they just have like a map of, they just, they overthink, they overanalyze everything in their life, you know? So it's like you might not have as much passion and romance as you think you would with this person. Does that make sense? Like you might love each other and it would be a healthy, stable relationship. Like I feel like the communication would be really good. You guys would be really open with each other. You guys would be, you know, this person is very stable. So they would, you guys would tell each other everything. Like you'd be able to have those discussions. But I just feel like this is... This isn't somebody that like understands passion and darkness and romance. It's not somebody that like gets those things. It, they, they don't get the deeper aspects of life. This is somebody who kind of sometimes keeps things in the shallow end. So you got to ask yourself too if you want this. But, um, but I am getting that this person has, you know, stepped back and made this decision that they, they do want to see if they can work through things with you. They just want to take it slow though. Vulnerability, receptivity. Yeah, they're trying to be vulnerable. They're trying to meet you halfway too because they know that you're more passionate and romantic. They know that you guys might have different love languages, but they're wanting to make you some kind of love offer here, it looks like. And if this is your reading and you want a private reading, just send me an email. My email is right below in the description box below this email or below, below this email, below this video in the description box. My email is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. Are the cards showing me up and being like, oh no, bitch, you were wrong. There actually is passion and romance here. Um, let me see. Are my guides, are my spirit guides trying to show me up right now? Okay, I guess they are. <laughs> are you guys saying that this, <laughs> my spirit guides are dicks sometimes. Are you guys saying that, um, that this person might change? Like, like you might rub off on them. The viewer might rub off on them. Okay, yes. So this person isn't really passionate and romantic now in general in their life, but the spirits are saying that you might bring that out of them. Like they, you would teach them, you guys would kind of balance each other out or you're more passionate and romantic and they're more logical. They like to overanalyze things. They like to, you're more spontaneous and adventurous and they're like the opposite where they like to, plan everything out and have a have a map and have a structure it's like you know there's there's some differences here but I think the spirits are kind of saying like you know with this love offer coming in like you would rub off on them you guys would be making compromises and communicating clearly and meeting each other halfway I feel really healthy really positive communication between you two like you would have you would have a very honest relationship with this person you know, mutual trust, mutual honesty. I feel like maybe they just haven't known anybody like you before. So they're usually logical and kind of overly analytical and guarded just because of the people they're around possibly. Because it seems like the cards are trying to say here like that. Yeah, they could be passionate and romantic. Like you could bring that, you could kind of bring that out of them. Normally I'm not one of those people that's like, oh, you could change them. Because usually you can't change anybody. But for this, in this particular context... I feel like you guys would learn and grow together. So they would still be a little bit overly logical at times and overly analytical and they would still get in their head sometimes and, and maybe not be quite as adventurous as you'd hoped. And sometimes, you know, you would be the one that's adventurous and spontaneous and out there and sometimes they wouldn't like that. It's like you guys would really have to find that balance. But, um, but yeah, I feel like you would rub off on them. Like you would kind of teach them how to be passionate and romantic and li live in the moment and have fun and um they would show you about like seeing the bigger picture and and like like you ba would balance each other out you guys would learn from each other so i do feel like there could be some passion and romance here um i just feel like they're not now though but they could be does that make sense like they're not that kind of person now but like having a relationship with you it's like there's potential for that, like for them to open up to that energy, but I feel like that energy is very unfamiliar to them. Magic, intention, manifestation, power, courage, assertiveness, motivation, forward movement. Yeah, you might have put the intention in for this as well. You might have manifested this. I feel like someone here is a powerful manifester. You might be showing this person like about witchcraft or about their own power as well. Make your move, green light. 
Third party. Power struggle. This, this person might have issues because of a third party where it was a power struggle and the, your person's person, like their karmic that they were with, always like, like if they have kids together, like he or she would always leave the kids at home and like go party or do drugs or like go out with other people or cheat or sleep around or whatever. Um, so I feel like maybe that's why they have a bitterness to that energy where it's like... It's like a trigger for them. You know what I mean? Like we're drinking or things like like certain things. And maybe not drinking necessarily, but it's just an example. Like there might be certain things that are like a trigger to them because of something the karmic put them through. So it's almost like they had to be the more logical one with the karmic because like the karmic was like out of control and maybe like an alcoholic or a druggie or like a, someone that just partied all the time. Maybe they had kids together and so your person had to be the logical, stable one even though they didn't really want to be. So it's also possible that they just haven't had the freedom in, in many years to be able to explore their passionate romantic side because they've had to take care of everyone around them. This could be someone that has a lot on their plate, like they had to take care of the kids on their own or they had to take care of, you know, themselves and or family members. Maybe some of them are like a caretaker for like a family member um, or just that kind of energy or just like taking care of everybody. So maybe it's possible that they were just in that logical energy for so long because they had to be like life kind of forced them to be. They didn't have a chance to let loose and have fun and go out. They just, they had to work all the time or they had to raise the kids alone or they had to take care of a parent or something of that nature. So with you, they might have that chance to have fun and, and explore that side of themselves, that passionate romantic side. Again, it's like, Someone that's just kind of numb on autopilot, just having to take care of everyone, having to be logical, having to be strong for themselves and for everyone around them all the time. So this person's kind of become numb. And um, I feel like with you, though, they would have that chance to open up to their passionate romantic side. Like, like you guys could go out and do fun things together. Like you could show them a whole other side of the world. It's pretty much the energy I'm getting here. Yeah, it's like they needed to like go inward and just figure it out. And they've decided that they do want to go forward. They just want to take it slow. Could be a potential life partner. Truth and clarity. Yeah, I do feel like there's going to be some passion here. They're also not wanting to do things the same way they did with the karmic, which might be why they're moving slower with you. I feel like you guys would have, like, adventure, fun, vacation, like. Some of them are still damaged by a karmic, or they still have a karmic lurking in the background for some. So they're choosing their words wisely. Yeah, they feel like that connection with you, and they're watching you on social media. Some of them can't reach out, but they're watching you, and they're wanting to reach out. Like, they feel at home with you. But I feel like someone is choosing you. I don't know if they know if you're open. I think they're uncertain if you're still open to this, but they they want to they want to make a bold gesture and choose love over fear. But yeah, this person really just needs to get back in touch with their fun, free spirited side. I feel like maybe this is. I think I got that logical energy because maybe they just have not been able to rest and relax and have fun for many years. Like maybe this is someone that just works all the time. Like they don't have a chance to go out and do anything fun. Like. Or they don't have anybody to do fun things with, possibly. Like, that could be it, too. So, so I think you'll be getting them... You'll be compromising with each other and getting them back into that energy. Um, but, yeah, meet each other halfway, you know, because they, they might go a little bit slower than you'd hope. Um, yeah. I think a big part of it, like I said, is they just don't want to repeat things like they did with the karmic. I think that they rushed in with the karmic, and the karmic ended up... It was, like, very passionate with the karmic at first, but then the karmic ended up being very unstable, very dramatic, overly emotional, um, like, in toxic ways, I mean, and, like, partying all the time and kind of, like, leaving all... Leave, like, the person had to be responsible for the karmic. Like, the karmic went and did whatever he or she wanted, and your person had to just, like, stay at home with the kids or be the one... Like, your person was the one working, you know, a 9-to-5 job 40, 50 hours a week, and... The karmic was just living off that money or the karmic was just partying or spending that money or whatever, you know, it's like your person was the responsible, logical one. So, and they've been in that energy for a while that we had to be responsible and logical. So it's like, you know, it's going to be a process 
getting them back in touch with that passionate romantic side of themselves. They're going to take things a little bit slow, like I said, just because they because they don't want to repeat the same issues with the karmic. I think that just that connection moves so quickly and they wish that they had taken it more slowly because some of them like bought a house or got married or got the karmic pregnant or something of that sort. And now they're like, it, it's like it just went too fast and they realized that that was a mistake. So now they're much more cautious in their connections. So don't take it personally. I mean, you guys should be communicating regularly. Like there shouldn't be no contact, but I'm saying like, if you guys are going out for coffee and like going out on dinner dates and stuff, but like they haven't said I love you yet and like usually you say it really quickly, like don't don't be offended by it. They're just trying to do it right this time around, okay? Um, but yeah, like I said, if you want a private reading, just email me. Uh, my email is below in the description box. Donations are appreciated. Uh, maybe someone you know needs to hear this, so please like, share, subscribe. Um, thank you guys for watching.